<laughs> Back it up. Back it up. Uh, You're like martini, Paul. Leaving work today and Sarah was there. So don't forget to slap that mint. I was like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So hello, welcome back to the vlog. Hello, friends. Hello, this is all Nate today. And he's he's carrying this through for me. He really is. He picked up all the supplies and he chose all the drinks. And I said, you do you. So originally... I wanted to do uh, some drinks for you guys again. We mentioned this on the last cocktail video we did to do for St. Patrick's Day. But if you know me and you know my frigid schedule, St. Patrick's Day is Thursday when I would be posting and that's not enough prep time it's for you. Out. It's not gonna work. So- How are you supposed to get to the <laughs> yeah. store on St. Patrick's Day After and to total wine? And get what you need. <laughs> so we're gonna just turn it into a vlog style and Nate's gonna share with you guys yeah. three drinks and I'm just gonna stand here and question everything. Now he is kind of cheating. I'm, I'm just taking my own spin okay. on the recipes, but they're pretty, they're, they're probably, I would say 85% there. I work for Total Wine and More, um, which we're in a whole bunch of states. Maybe we're not in your state or whatever. Most we're, of them though now have them, uh, I feel like, like but 20, not everywhere. 28 states, 28 states, so. Out of um, all of them, really? There's yeah, we're, oh. it'll be 29 this year. Yeah. Where's that um, one gonna be? No idea. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't remember what state it was. <laughs> okay. but, but like last year, uh, of course, if you guys were following, uh, Michigan was like the new state yes. last year. Um, yeah, it's like four of them that you so, went into yeah, Michigan. Yeah, four of them went in. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so if you have a Total Wine near you, well, you can use the recipes on there, but the, some of the stuff that I use is specifically from Total Wine mm -hmm. because I'm trained in their product right. and I like their product. Well, so, and so the recipes are technically yeah. also on their website, yes. but again, we might you know, change yeah. it a little bit. So if you, go, if you go to TotalWine.com, go all the way to the bottom, it says cocktail recipes. Got uh, it. We have a great mixologist for the company. And if you literally scroll through, it'll say St. Patrick's Day. And these are on there. Oh, so okay. That's where I put I'll, it. From. I'll link each one though too for you guys, but just yeah. for your reference for future drinks too. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, now these are all three technically, again, in a St. Patrick's Day recipe. They are all inspired by, right? Yes. Okay. What are we doing first then? So, we are going to do the Irish coffee, um, the simple Irish coffee. So nothing silly, crazy. It's truly coffee made Irish. So that's what we're going to okay. do. Okay. There's a lot of different takes out there on, you know, Irish creams in there and things like that. You're more than welcome to zhuzh, but I'm just going to do the classic, like bare minimum Irish coffee. Okay. Cool. So what we're going to be doing is it's really just make a cup of coffee. Okay. I can do this. I'm going to be the sous chef. Okay, so we're going to make a cup of coffee. Okay. Um, we're going to use our Nespresso machine, and we're just going to use a regular coffee base. Um, I would say lighter, medium roast, and we're going to put two tablespoons of brown sugar to just sweeten that coffee. There it is. Is that okay. enough? Yep. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit that guy in there. Boom. Emerald Lagasse over here. <laughs> Bam! Give that just a okay. start to incorporate. And then we are now going to add Irish whiskey. So we're gonna add an ounce and a half of Irish whiskey. Can it be any Irish whiskey then? So I, it can be any Irish whiskey. I would just use a well Irish whiskey. Well Irish whiskeys just do well in cocktails. Um, okay. There are higher end Irish whiskeys out there. I would not waste my higher end. Yeah, you that. would. You would make, he already said that well, you make drinks that people would smack you for. I would get for. shunned for <laughs> on a lot of different things because that's good. But those are bourbons. Yeah. Some, some bourbons are just put on pedestals and I don't understand. But them. we also say that there's the rule that if you really like it and it doesn't make sense to no one else you do it yeah. anyway the best way to drink your cocktail is, is however, however you, you like it to. yes, yes but, so, um, but you don't need something technically that's super yeah. high end but right? this this is a 18 dollar okay okay but uh this is kilburn um or jameson would be the equivalent, the equivalent then okay this. so we're gonna do an ounce and a half of this now i mentioned to you guys on our last cocktail video we did like I, I I like rum, but you know I'm a gin girl, and I would say my least favorite is whiskeys. It's just not me, but it's all Nate, so this is all you. This is all you. 
I mean, I'll try it, but it's just not my jam. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And then you said this is supposed to be topped with technically like some whipped cream. Whipped cream. So there's tons of vegan ones out there now. We he forgot. I'm like, we'll make this work. I think we're just gonna okay. Go just do for it. it. We're just gonna. This I is like, our twist to it. Yep. I just made a little bit of froth in our Nespresso thing. Um, yeah. But you could top this with a little bit of like the little can whips or um, my one of my favorites is the True Whip. And there's a vegan version of it and you can get it at Sprouts and Whole Foods. Sometimes Whole Foods is out of the vegan one, but Sprouts has it. And that's the one I usually keep in the freezer. It's really good. I put a dollop of that. I smell it. Why you gotta go mess up coffee? Well, it's got some Irish zing to it. Yeah. That's nice. All right. It's not overly whiskey. It's still really coffee, but there's a bright, um, almost buttery, um, Actually, it's pretty good. Right, right, right. So Irish whiskeys can have uh, some butteriness to them yeah. or, or slight creaminess. Yeah. I think the coffee oh, carries that part of it through pretty well. On the last one, we mm -hmm. also showed the um, that cold brew, what do they call it? Caffettino? Yeah. There's a vegan one. It's exclusive, apparently, though, to Total Wine. I had yes. some people ask, mm -hmm. but it's a creamy liqueur. You yeah. can also add some of that, that into it, too. Be yeah. Really good in that too. Still, but yeah, so. just another option. Just another, but I wanted okay. to give just a base because yeah. a lot of this is just coffee also. Your coffee. Right. Everyone does their coffee differently. Right. No, that's cool. So, yeah. That's cool. All right. So there's number one. There's number one. All right. you. What are you doing next? So the next one is called a Clover Fizz. Okay. So Clover Fizz can either be done in a big low ball or a high ball glass, a taller one. Yeah. So it's got mint ginger ale, Irish whiskey, all kinds of fun stuff. You'll need a shaker for it. So okay. this one is made in said shaker. So okay. start with your ice. Okay. Now you would think that uh, Flanagan, it, you're Irish. Hey, the name, who knew? The, name, <laughs> the, the name's got some Irish heritage to it. Do yeah. you know much about your own background I, with that? I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty much a mutt. <laughs> we all are. You know. I'm, I'm pretty much a mutt. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of Irish in there, but it's not hardcore. Or anything but we have like the that. name, and anytime uh, people yeah. see when you know my ID or whatever, and they're like, "Oh, you're Irish," I'm like, "I guess." You're but all <laughs> married, married to a little bit of it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like a prominent thing, though. Growing yeah. up or anything. It was okay. No, okay. Not really. All right. Not really. All right. All right. So this one is going to be uh, Irish whiskey. So we're gonna start with the same one. Uh, same one. Yep. Okay. And we're gonna do uh, two ounces. Okay. Of this. clover fizz. That's what this is called. Clover fizz. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do simple syrup. Um, you make I, that. I make my own simple syrup, and it is super thick. So simple syrup is literally I make it for my birds too. Uh, <laughs> the outdoor birds, the hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. It's literally water and sugar. And mm -hmm. you just bring it to a boil, turn it off, and that is it. And it's usually like a one-on-one -one ratio, but you can play with that too. Yep. But that's all he does. Mm -hmm. uh, lime juice. We're going to start with a half and garnish with the other this half. This one's pretty big. It might be enough. Yeah. Nope, this one's juicy. Okay. We'll do half. Yep. And then we'll save this for my said gin tonic. Have garnish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And some mint in there. And what do we do, people, with our mint? We slap our we mint. We slap our mint. I don't know why that stuck with I so many people. I never had heard that expression before or that rule. But I, I get it. I know you're supposed to kind of rub them, but I did not know you were supposed to slap your mint. We said this on the last cocktail video, mm -hmm. and it really releases the flavor. Yep. But yeah, slap your mint. Slap your mint. That's it. Lime, Irish whiskey, That's mint. It. That's it. That's what's going in the shaker. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what's going in the shake. All right. So. All right. And now we shake. All right. Hold on. I'm going to do an ice ball because I like the way ice balls look in this glass. All these molds, by the way, that like long one too. Um, I showed it on my last What I Eat in a Day. I did um, acai puree in them mm -hmm. and you can make your own like packets then all on Amazon and stuff. If I can find them again, I'll link them for you. But this is a round ice ball. It's mm -hmm. kind of cool. All right. 
So we're gonna go over the top of that guy. So the mint is okay if little bits and stuff come out. That's like the yeah. idea. I mean, if you have a better strainer, use a better strainer. Okay, but either way. I, I, I shook it pretty good. Okay. So normally um, some of the other strainers, they're a little bit more. These have kind of coarse. Yeah, we need that little like um yeah. meshy meshy one but either way it's still good it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt you. you you slapped it so it's uh, fine we did slap it <laughs> yes so now what we're gonna do is we are going to garnish with some mint and some lime and some lime do you want a little wedge please like a little quarter, a quarter one or mm -hmm. like that um yeah that's fine oh okay i mean i can it I get it. I get it. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, ginger ale. So you, you made that uh, the first part in there, and really what you're doing now is you're just garnishing and adding ginger ale. So. Do you know what's funny? I don't know that I have ever had ginger ale. What? I don't think I have. Maybe I have like in a mixed drink and not known it, but I don't think I've ever like just had it. Hmm. I don't know. And then you get a fancy stir. Chopstick. That was my favorite chopstick. <laughs> Thank and then, you. And then we'll stir. Yep. And then what's nice is the ball, you just kind of do that with the ball. And it okay. actually does a really good job. Then you take your mint. Stick it in there. Just stick your mint in there. I guess if you had crushed ice, that would stand up a little bit better. It's perfect. <laughs> and your lime wedge. It's perfect. It's pretty. You can just do a little bit over the top. Yeah. Like so. I like the look of her. That's a cool one. Clover Fizz. That's cool. I don't know if you can see that good. It's got like a light green to it. Yeah. You you do the honors. Um, now this you did follow pretty much per that recipe. You didn't change anything to it. Uh-huh. Is it good? It's good. You'll um, like it. You'll okay. like it. I love lime. What could you change about this? Like what could you <laughs> hey, that's good. What could you make now trying it? Like, could you add something different to it? Or would you use something different? I I wouldn't use the ball. I'd use crushed ice just so the mint sticks a little bit better. But that's pretty good. I like ginger ale. <laughs> that's pretty good stuff. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, ginger ale by itself, I don't like it. Really? See, again, I, that's good. And I, I've told you guys, I'm not a bourbon or whiskey person. I'm really not. That's, that's good. That's solid. That is. That's good, but I mean, I, I wouldn't like. That's better. That's better. No, that's really good. It well is. done. Well done. Is. Clover done. fizz. All right. That's, that's definitely winning. Okay. As we speak. I like it. This is good though, too. I'm, I'm surprised. All right. Thanks for doing this. You saved the day. I tried my best. What's the next one? The next one is called an Irish, Irish Eyes. Eyes. Okay, okay. Irish Eyes. So uh, it's made in a martini glass. Okay. And uh, we're going to need to shake again. Trust your old shaker. Shaker. Ice <laughs> mold. Do you sell the ice molds too at, at the store? Or do you Some know, of them. Not all the Some kinds of them. I, I liked the... I liked the ones that I found on Amazon for the, the yeah. right side. They were bigger. Okay. Yeah. So I liked them a little bit more. All right. So this guy is going to be, once again, we're going to come back to the Irish whiskey. That makes and it easy. All of these can do yeah. that. Yep. So we're going to go and we're going to do an ounce and a half. Well, two ounces. Okay. Right. We're going to do two ounces of Irish whiskey. We're going to do one ounce of cream. De mint. De cream de mint. I don't know how you say it. Cream. Cream de menthol. Menthol. The mint. Mint. A, mint. <laughs> a green cream of mint. Yeah. Sorry. I will tell you, if you don't plan to use this frequently, we bought a big bottle of this a, wa ooh, ooh. a while back, and it is a sticky, sticky, messy bottle. Point is, if, if, you, if you're not gonna use it super often, get the small one, that way it's Ooh. just cleaner. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure why I bought four of these, because yeah. that's all I needed. Okay. I didn't even need a whole one. Very, very strong. Yeah, very, very strong. strong. I actually remember using that in a recipe when I did a Christmas one. Mm -hmm. It says peppermint and stuff. Um, it, it's strong, it is. Oat milk. Oat milk, or it calls for cream. Okay. We're not, I mean, right. so as thick as, oat milk as you want. Okay. 
any plant milk then, but again, you're trying mm -hmm. to go for thicker then. Okay. And you're gonna do three ounces of this. It's gonna be interesting to see, will it hurdle at all? It shouldn't it with shouldn't. these and Okay, because sometimes you even but know, like- oat milk. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, that's what I mean is, um, sometimes even almond milks, I feel like are more so certain coffees. It will um, mm -hmm. kind of, there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't look great, but we'll see what it happens. Right, so, cool, so we're shaking. Now, do you rim this with anything? You can. So you can zhuzh it if you wanted to, um, but it doesn't call for it. Doesn't garnish. What would you drink. put on it if you did? You could do uh, sugar. You could rub some mint on it. Um, All right. Do a sprig of mint at the end if you really want to. Um, we are going to put two maraschino cherries in there. I wish I was. I was. Um, but yeah, you could um, you could sugar rim it. Okay. I wouldn't do salt. No, no, wouldn't go with it. Um, and I guess if you had like a mint infused sugar, maybe something like that. Okay. Do I do? Okay, yeah. Oh, we're good, guys. It didn't curdle. That looks cool. That does look cool. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's kind of cool too because typically I feel like with martini drinks you always see like vodka or gin mm -hmm. as the base and this is something totally different Ooh, that's a cool like christmas looking one too plus it's minty i like it you go ahead you go ahead <laughs> i'll show you but it did not curdle at all no which is cool Ooh, that's guess, a really pretty I color if maraschino cherries floated it would work <laughs> no a bit no that's perfect but yeah so that's it there Try it, is. it out. Sometimes the mint ones, I don't feel like you overly like, but you love that one's good. So keep in mind, martini type drinks are They're pretty strong. strong. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's subtle. It's not overly minty. It's not like piercingly minty. <laughs> you definitely get more of that whiskey flavor. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. We get that whiskey. We won't get that whiskey. Oh, oh, oh my flavor. god. I mean. You know, she's strong, girl. She's she, strong. She's strong. She's strong. That's strong. She's strong. But it's good. It is good. Yeah. It's refreshing. You would definitely really sip on that one. Yeah. 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 Free, freezer martini glass on that. Yeah, one. that was so, chilled. So it uh -huh. chills it really, really nice. That's really good. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. You saved the day. Three hours was started hot. Yeah. Went cold. Went even colder. There it is. Yeah. So cool. which one did you like the most? Yeah. This one's really Clover good. Phases. That one's really good. And I actually like this. I This I do too, but it's, it is strong. You gotta want the mint. You gotta want the mint and it is strong. But it's good. It's smooth. It's very smooth. It's nice because the, 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 the milk actually gives it a... Creaminess. Yeah. 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 And that good. oat milk's really good in it. The Kirkland one. Yeah. I love their oat milk. Well, all right, so I have to make another uh, clover fist. Yeah. So I'm going to steal my Well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I thought this would work out better. I know it's not a true vlog, but we're, you know, you know. Um, but uh, it would just be better if you want to get any of these things. You can do that before truly St. Patrick's Day. Right. But there it is. But if you guys have, like, any questions specifically about, like, certain whiskeys and stuff, let me know. I won't be able to answer it for you, but he can. I'll, I'll tell him. <laughs> but uh, he's he's pretty good with that stuff. But yeah. I think, again, we're just saying with mixed drinks and stuff, don't feel like you really have to get this, like, yeah. top of the line thing because it, it, you're, it's, you're not drinking it straight, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's different. But, yeah, if you have questions, though, you know, he can help you out yeah. through that process. Let me know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, my friends. I will see you guys tomorrow for a grocery haul. I'm thinking Trader Joe's. Don't hold me to it. And uh, we'll go from there. But thank yeah. you. You're welcome. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.